bit of steam. And so the first series for Kevin Glenn, play action, and he goes over the middle. And the catch is made in a nice one by Aaron Kelly. They're coming out firing here tonight. Hamilton offense, Avon Coburn joins Kevin Glenn in the backfield. Coburn averaging about 15 touches a game. Aaron Kelly had a season high, five catches, 92 yards last week. On the offensive line, Jason Jimenez at right tackle, a scratch. Ryan Simmons into the lineup. Hand off up the middle, Marcus Thigpen. And is stopped in his tracks by Ronald Flemons, but a good pickup for Penn, who is an option in that backfield. Big question, of course. The question mark this week surrounds the double blue and their defense. They fired Chip Garber last week after the loss to the Montreal Alouettes and promoted Orlando Steinauer to the DC position. Yeah, and on defensively, the personnel essentially remains the same. Look for a more aggressive <laughs> philosophy here. Kevin Iben, by the way, out long term with injury anthony cannon starts for him Avon Colbert gets a block it's a first down into toronto territory with ivan's loss in this game as well it's significant because he is the normal holder noel prefontaine comes back for the argos this week that's significant they've missed him the last couple of games with a quad injury jermaine copeland will do the holding yeah and it's going to be interesting to watch this is something jermaine copeland really hasn't done since he was a kid he was out early, taking a few extra snaps and kicks with his uh, tempo. First and ten again for Kevin Glenn. Gives it to Colburn. Looked like he was stopped in the backfield. Ricky Foley had him. And then Colburn was able to pick up a couple of yards. Well, Avon Colburn has done a terrific job as the tempo setter for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And this is a big part of the reason why this guy's here. You're not going to find a more physical running back in the Canadian Football League, whether he's running the football, whether he's blocking. Or We've verbal. Do a bit of both already. But they try to get him the ball early, let him set the tone. And there you see Avon Coburn. We talked about the averaging 15-yard touches overall. But that's picked up over the last three games. The Ticats making more of a commitment to their biggest off-season acquisition. You see the numbers climbing as well for him. One of the few times you won't hear him right there. Avon Coburn. Kevin Huntley is hurt. They're working on him. We'll walk it off on the sideline. And upstairs, Orlando Steinauer. Um, Orlando Steinauer is flanked by the walking wounded as it is for the Argos. To his left, the right side of your screen, injured middle linebacker Huttinger. On the other side, injured quarterback Stephen Giles. Kevin Iben standing behind him. Pottinger, ACL injury. Iben, a torn pec. Both were at practice this week helping the linebackers. Almost like assistant coaches. Second and five out of the backfield. Colburn has running room here. Colburn did so much of that as a Montreal Alouette. Everything clears out in front of Avon Colburn, leaving things open for him to sneak out into the flat. Argos forgot all about him as Kevin Glenn's outlet. Nice little swing route, and he does a terrific job just getting it up the field till the snipe on the 20. Got up, shook his head, said, I can't believe I tripped on my own feet. Pump fake. Glenn takes it himself, and he's hit hard. Anthony Cannon is there. Ronald Flemons, Claude Roten, and Kevin Glenn had nowhere to go. Looked like he was calling his own number all the way. Something Kevin Glenn does not do a lot is take off with the football, something that Marcel Belfay said before the season. He wanted Kevin Glenn to start to scamper a little more. Yeah, absolutely. Use his legs a little more often, avoid forcing throws, but also to keep that defense honest. Help out Avon Colburn a little bit. Second down near the end zone. you got to think Dave Stalla time. Stalla time. 
Touchdown. And a typical stalibration. <laughs> oh, he's a beauty. He is a beauty. Dave Stella showed on this route. Seventh touchdown of the season. He's become Mr. Second Down for Kevin Glenn. He is Mr. Clutch. And this is Dave Stella's seventh touchdown in seven games. I think that's a party game he was playing with the pylon. Medlock. The Tie Cats answer right back. Sun shower. What a start we've had. Dave Stalla. No, no. No, no, Dave. Dave Stalla had the gummy bear joke a week ago in Calgary. He's a great receiver and scores a lot of touchdowns. It's not a joke teller. His coach, though, is loving what Dave Stalla is doing so far this season. Dave Stalla, you know, is, is a go-to guy for us, and he's really been good for us around the goal line this year. That's something that, you know, a role that he wanted in the offseason. He had talked to me about personally, you know, being able to, you know, contribute more down there in that area of the field. And, uh, you know, he's, he's getting better as he gets older, and he, he's actually thinking younger. You know, his training, his dieting, you know, he's, he's kind of taking that Anthony Calvillo approach. Coach, go to the bank. Very good, Dave Stalla. Hey, I'm just glad Dave's diet and training are getting better yes. as he gets older because his sense of humor is terrible. <laughs> Look at it coming down here. Loss of one on the play. So the Argos get the ball first, score, take it down the field. Cats get it back, take it down the field. Skies open up here and wet conditions. I don't think it's going to last very long. But it's coming down. Man, is it coming down. Second and 11 for Cleo Lemon. Going deep, looking for Andre Dury. Cannot bring it in. In triple coverage. Ball was lobbed up high. And through the raindrops, Andre Dury could not haul it in. Uh, that one just hung up a little bit too long to Andre Dury as the pressure got to Cleo Lemon. It was, initially, it was Marquise Knowlton in coverage, but the ball hanging up in the air allowed three Ticats to get back there and get involved in the play. So the Argos, next to last in the league in two and outs, the 38th two and out on the season. <laughs> the last couple of weeks with a quad injury. Marcus Thickham driven back by D. Webb and special team specialist Brian Crawford. And Kevin Glenn eclipsed the 30,000 yard passing barrier for his career on the last drive. Now at 30,032. Only 40,000 more to catch Anthony Calvillo. Hey, KG's doing just fine. Only the 14th quarterback in CFL history to eclipse that mark. And Kevin Glenn's another one. I mean, you, you heard Marcel Belfe talk about Dave Stalla getting better with age. I think the same can be said of, of Kevin Glenn at this point in his career. Glenn, who was a Toronto Argonaut for a brief moment, ended up in Winnipeg and Aaron Hamilton. Former Saskatchewan Rough Rider as well. His offensive coordinator this year is Kahari Jones, who we've worked with in Winnipeg when Jones was a quarterback there and now sending the plays out to Kevin Glenn. Well, we heard the boys in the studio talk pregame about what Kahari Jones and Kevin Glenn might do as far as play calling, not knowing what to expect from this Argonaut defense. We get in a second and long passing situation. If you're gonna be more aggressive, Argos, now's the time. Like they're going to bring some heat here. Glenn fires, catching it, and dropped by Byron Parker is Aaron Kelly in the 
driving rain. Kelly's second catch of the night. Aaron Kelly, who began the season with the Argos in game one, former Clemson Tigers, suffered a concussion, missed four games, and has been a revelation since coming back. Well, and the Argos do show something a little bit more. Initially show seven, drop the linebackers, but bring the free safety. Willie Pyle, great blitz pickup by the running back, Avon Colburn, one of the best in the league in that regard. Back into Toronto territory, 7-7 seven, seven game. Glenn again. Bakari Grant has it. Good tackle made by Anthony Cannon, the replacement again for Kevin Iben. Kevin Glenn starts tonight, 5-5. Five of five. A Pretty good quarterbacking duel early here. Both quarterbacks completing their first five. Kevin Glenn, though, keeping his second drive alive. They're going to bring the chains out here. Measure this. Our referee tonight is Al Bradbury. And it is just shy of a first down. Quinton Porter is going to game. Which he does for short yardage plays. Congratulations to Quinton, his wife Christina. Quinton Porter, a week he'll never forget. Came a daddy for the first time. He and his wife, proud parents of baby Lotus Marie, born a couple days ago. The new papa. Second in inches. And uh, moves those feet forward. And we'll head back to the sideline. There is Lotus Marie, and there's the proud papa, and Christina. Get used to the diapers, my man. <laughs> and a, a whole lot of sleepless nights, I'm sure. But a pretty good trade-off, I'm sure, what from Porter will tell you. Exactly. I'm sure he hasn't stopped smiling this week. Receiving crew this time. Colburn stays to block. Kevin Glenn swarmed. Escapes. Throws. And it was too short for Avon Colburn. But Kevin Glenn looked to be DOA in the backfield. Well, the Toronto Argonauts brought the heat. They just didn't finish here. Middle linebacker Adriel Kowali is one of those up in the blitz. Argos bring six on the play, free up the linebacker, Kowali. Kevin Glenn, not known for his elusiveness, just manages to slip free. Argos dodge a bullet as Glenn throws low to Coburn. The Argos last year, in the last couple of years, their defense has held them steady. Not this season. Glenn, and a wet ball, became a lame duck. Just wobbled out of his hands. He lost complete grip of it. Looks like the rain is subsiding. But it slipped right out of his hands. There it is. Yeah, the pigskin gets a little bit slick. <laughs> it didn't even go anywhere near where he was looking. Straight up in the air. And Justin Medlock, the special teams player of the month for July. Former Toronto Argonaut. 14 and 16 on the season. And we've got a flag. There appeared to be some uncertainty as the Argos were getting lined up. I know they ran players in and out of the lineup and on and off the field late there. Al Bradbury talks with Ricky Foley. Offside, Toronto number 94. That will be a five-yard penalty. It will remain third down. They 
blew that right away. It was Kevin Huntley lined up offside. Well, here he is here. Yeah. He's in the backfield. Yeah. Once they're lined up, you'll see Kevin Huntley start going back towards the bench. That's what gets the call. Yeah. 